This is a question that many patients tell me once they have the dentures in, the snap-on dentures in, is how do they take them out? Well, first of all, we need to understand that right now you're going to have a device on lower mandible and upper jaw and you need to understand that your fingers are going to be a very important thing at this moment. Now, how do you do it? If you're going to do it on uppers, is that you can do it with one finger and the other side, same moment, but gently. Remember that you need to do it gently because if you don't do it gently, what is going to happen is that you can harm your gums and we don't want that. You don't want that. So slowly lowers with your far back fingers on the far back. You're going to do it and uppers with these fingers, you're going to pop them out. Once you take them out, once you take them out, now you're going to be ready to clean them and also you can rinse them with scope or Listerine. That's going to help. That's going to help to remove all the small bacteria, micro bacteria that keep be stuck there. That's what you're going to do. Can you use a toothbrush? Yes, you can. And once you clean them or you rather store them or you can just place them in again. But before you place them, you need to also clean the abutments before you put them in. And once they're super clean, they're going to be ready to use them again. Are snap-ons my favorite? No, they are not my favorite because the strength is not the best. The wiggling is not something that I like a lot. And also, if you're going to clean them, sometimes on the area where you have the locators, you can have food getting stuck there. So that's one of the things that I don't like about snap-on benches. But anyhow, they are an affordable solution and they work. So do your homework, do your research, and find a dentist that can give you all the options and what's best for you. Bye-bye, Dr. A.